guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited because spring is here. It's popping. Summer is on the way and I've been getting a lot of requests for a no makeup makeup look. I've kind of been wearing that a lot lately, very simple makeup. The warmer weather, I don't know what it is, it just always inspires me to want to wear a little less makeup. Actually, maybe not like slightly less, <laughs> but it looks like I'm wearing less. Just like for a more a natural, fresh and glowy look. So this is how I personally do a no makeup makeup look. I know everyone has a different interpretation of this. It's not like I'm wearing no makeup, but it's very fresh faced, natural, light vibe. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and prime my face. Use your favorite face primer. Right now I have been loving the Tatcha Silk Canvas. It's so good, it just like fills in your pores so nicely. And make sure you're wearing SPF, guys. Right now with the sun out, like it's just so crucial. Please, or SPF, please. The good thing is this makeup looks fairly quick as well when it's not a tutorial, when it's just you. So one of my favorite products this time of year is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I'm self-tanned right now, so I'm using the shade Medium Tan. So if you don't have time for an SPF, this has SPF 50 plus in it. I love this stuff, because it has a really beautiful natural coverage, but it also has that protection, and it has a really pretty natural look. It just looks like skin, while it protects your skin. I think it also has like anti-aging serum in it. This has been a go-to for a long time, like even when it's not summer or spring. I wear this stuff a lot, but especially when the sun is out. If you're wondering how I did my hair, I literally just did like two little mini French braids and then pinned them underneath, nothing crazy. Oh, I just love this stuff. And it wears really well too. Like I can wear this for like a whole day. See how it just has a very natural glow to it. I of course set it because I don't want it to slip around. And if you're having a really quick morning, you can just slap this on with your hands. You'll get less coverage, but you'll still get some coverage and the protection but I like to put it on with a beauty blender. It looks so good. I bring it up onto the eyelids, just for an even color everywhere. So now <laughs> my skin tone matches my body since I'm self-tanned, and it gives you a really nice, pretty even coverage. Uh, but you can still see like your skin through it. If you have like freckles, you'll still see them a bit, which is nice, it looks natural. Now you can go ahead and just apply that up under your eyes as well if you don't want to look like you're going ahead and like highlighting your face. But I'm gonna take um, a concealer that's maybe just like a half a shade or a shade lighter than my skin tone, but not like a crazy amount. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Light Beige. And I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of that under my eyes just to like brighten up a little bit, even though it's a no makeup look, I wanna look like fresh faced and awake and bright. You guys have been requesting more makeup videos lately and I hear you, I listen, um, I wanna make sure you guys are getting what you want. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what else you wanna see for spring makeup looks, maybe prom or wedding. Oh, that just brings me to life. And then I, I'm someone who has to bake my face because I have like a line under my eye and I crease like crazy if I don't bake. So I'm just taking a little air spun and I'm just gonna bake under my eyes quickly. So while my under eyes are baking, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that same translucent powder and pat to set my forehead because then I'm gonna go in and quickly do a nice, easy, natural brow with the Glossier Boy Brow. This stuff's amazing. I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but this is the best brow gel. This tiny little applicator, it just gets right up in there and it makes your brows look so full, but like natural. Oh my God, it just does something. I don't know how they do it. I brush my hairs up and then over. See how it just like sculpts it? I don't know. I love this stuff. It's like a go-to summer product because in the summer I don't like to waste time putting on a bunch of makeup, unless I have like an event or something at night, but during the day it's too hot to wear like a lot. So in the summer I'll literally just wear like brow, brow boy, <laughs> boy brow and mascara. Another huge tip that I'm obsessed with, I got this little fan at Target, it's a clip fan, and I do my makeup by my computer, I think I've talked about this in a vlog, but I clip it on and in the summer or hotter months wherever you live, Oh my god, have this going on you while you're doing your makeup because there's nothing worse than when you start to sweat and you're not like set yet or something starts dripping. It's just not, not a good look. Or you're trying to set your setting spray quicker. This is like a game changer, guys. I didn't realize how much I needed this until I had it. Okay, so now once I just throw that on my brows, I'm pretty much ready to sweep away my baking. It's mostly kind of absorbed into the skin. And then I'm gonna throw a quick layer of that translucent powder all over 
just to set it, especially when it's warm, your makeup can kind of melt if it's not set well. So one of my favorite kind of natural looking bronzers is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. As you can tell, it's one of my favorite shades. It's like a really nice, beautiful matte bronze. It doesn't look like shimmery and fake, but it's not super cool toned where it looks like a contour. I feel like it just looks really natural, like a sun-kissed glow. So I feel like in makeup videos, it's where we get to have our intimate moments. <laughs> you and me, the fearless fam. So what's new in your life? Leave a comment down below. What have you been doing? What are you up to this summer? Are you traveling? I wanna know everything. I love you guys so much. Like you guys are just the sweetest people in the world and I just, every time I read the comments or chat with you guys, it just like my heart explodes. So I just wanna take a minute and say thank you guys for always being here and supporting me and being my fearless family and getting me through all the hard times and always loving me and supporting me. I couldn't do anything without you guys here. It just, you guys get me through. I don't know what prompted that moment, but it's in my heart. So I just do that little bit of bronzer on my cheeks, my forehead, and then like a little bit on the nose because that's a very natural place for the sun to hit. So another really pretty blush that I like to use when I'm going a little bit more of like a natural face, I like to use a cream blush because I just feel like it gives you a really natural kind of glow. Uh, so this one's from Too Faced. It's one of the peach ones. It's the Peach My Cheeks in the shade Pinch My Peach. That's a lot of tongue twister P words. So I use my Tarte foundation brush to apply this. I think like a nice dense brush tends to do a better job so it's not streaky. And then I just stipple it on the upper outer apple. And you could apply as much as you want, but I don't go too crazy. And then sometimes I take a little with my finger and dab it on my nose for a little color. And then sometimes I'll take on top one of the butter blushes from Positions Formula. This is the shade Vintage Rouge. And that kind of sets the blush. It gives me a little extra pop because I love blush. I just think it makes your face look so cute. Now I'm going to highlight with one of my favorite glowy, like really bronzy looking highlighters. I just think it looks so pretty with a tan this time of year. This is the Becca Cosmetics Prosecco Pop. I can only use this when I have self tanner on or when I am in the summertime, have a little bit of a tan going. If you are on the fairer side, uh, you could easily use the Champagne Pop instead, but I like this one for this time of year. Like, look how bronzy that is. So pretty. So I think one of the things about a no makeup makeup look is it's a lot of glow. It's a lot about skin. Uh, and it's not really about, like, an eye look. It's more about getting a natural glow. So I'll take this and I'll apply it up on the brow bone with my finger. I'll put some in the inner corners. And you can use this with whatever highlighter you think works best with your skin tone. A little on my cupid's bow a little on the bridge of my nose and then to really melt it all down and make it look natural on the skin i'm using a little of mac fix plus and this will just make it really melt down into the skin and marry them together okay so i just went ahead off camera and let that dry for a second but see how it's just a very luminous skin looking face skin looking face that made so much sense so just because i am someone who has um hooded eyes i like to take a little bit of paint pot from mac and painterly and i just like to put this on my eye as a base just so i don't get a weird foundation crease there during the day and it's just like very close to my skin color so you don't have to do much to it and this will set down kind of as like a cream eyeshadow but you'll be locked and loaded for the day and then all i'm gonna do is take that same bronzer pop it in the crease so i'm using my lancome 17 brush and i'm just dusting that right into the crease wherever your natural crease kind of falls it's basically just accentuating what you already have now you can leave it natural or you can take some of that highlighter and pop it right on the center of your lid i love to do this because it really opens up the eye so I just do it right in the center. And by focusing it on the center, it makes your eyes look so big and so awake. And I need all the help I can get to look bright and refreshed. So lastly, I'm gonna throw on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise. 
Okay, so lastly, I'm going to throw on my favorite product. I love this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencil in Pillow Talk. So guys, this looks so much like my natural lip color. I'm sure it looks similar to yours potentially, but I feel like whenever I put on foundation, it doesn't look complete if I don't do something to my lips. So I will literally just go through and line my lips with this shade and it just, it just kind of makes everything look put together. And sometimes I slightly overdraw if I feel a little spicy. See how close it is to my lip color? You can find any lip pencil that's like super close to your natural lip color, maybe a smidge darker if you want to add a little more definition. And then on top of that, I'll just throw on some chapstick or a nice gloss. I'm just gonna throw on a little sun bum chapstick. The watermelon one is so good and it says SPF too. Don't let your lips burn. And that is all I do to get my kind of no makeup makeup look, a very fresh face. If you're doing this off camera, not a tutorial, it takes literally like five minutes. Uh, it's nice for a quick morning. It takes like no time at all and you look a little bit more put together, but you know, live your life, do what you want. I personally love this look for this time of year. Let me know again what else you wanna see in the spring season. Did I say spring season? Pringles, I'm so tired. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.